Hello guys, this is Prince Jaya Kenya back with another video and today I want to inform you about how you can go about getting a job as a new immigrant over here in the United States. You know, a lot of people usually ask themselves how will I go about getting a job as a new immigrant over here in the United States or once I relocate <coughs> over in the United States. So if I thought that is your question or the question that have been you have been asking yourself, keep in touch and let us watch this video till the end because you will be informed or you will be oriented on how you can go about looking for a job here in the united states as a new immigrant so let me give a testimony of myself as i usually tell you i relocated i relocated over here in the u.s on february 27 this year 2022 and you know what like many of you usually dreams to come here in america it is to look for jobs and opportunities because even if you are coming to school, you are coming to school so that maybe probably one day you might get this opportunity about being employed here or whatever. So the, the, the key thing of an American dream and this what people call an American dream, it is this the round of opportunity or it is this opportunity of getting a job, maybe which one you, whereby you can't get in your country, the one that you are relocating from. So I relocated over here like any other to look for greener pasture and to look for a job so after relocating over here in the month of i in, in the in, in february 27 i tried i started i talked with my host because obvious for if you are a green card holder or if you are a green card winner you will need a host as i told you in my previous videos so you the first place that you will add it's in your host place the one that it's in your host place so you will add in your host place so i talked to my host and now once I read it here and I asked, I asked him, now how can we go about applying for our jobs? And he told me that there is, a, there is some place that he has in mind that we're going to go and try applying for, our, for jobs in those places. So I made another video about how you can go about social security card. But once we applied to those jobs, to those places, we could not get a job because they required us to have a social security card remember when you relocate over here in, in america especially if you will be a green card holder there are two documents that you are supposed to have for you to be like for you to be known that you are legally permitted over here and you are legally or you, you are you have been accepted to work over here i told you one thing is social security card which is usually mailed to you one week after relocating over here in america so if, if at all you want you want more clarification about social security card please watch my videos go to my videos analytic analytic something like that or content video content content you're gonna see that video about social security card about green card i'm gonna bring a video about it to explain more so you need a green card and a social security a social security is mailed to you one week after arriving here in the u.s about the green card it is mailed to you within three months or 90 days it can be mailed within one month two months but before 90 days that's when you are supposed to receive your green card from the day that you paid the uscic fee we are not here to discuss about that so once i relocated over here on 27 february my with i my host had died or i and my host therefore it was on saturday the, the following day on monday we could do nothing because we were doing some shopping some some show me like I told you if at all me, myself I didn't go to my host place my host decided to rent an apartment for me so I was living in my apartment this I'm living this I'm making my, the video right now it is my apartment from day one I was in my apartment the host that hosted me instead of host me in his place because he's a young he's just a young guy like me he's a single guy like me he is in his parent house instead of hosting me in his parent house he decided to rent an apartment for me so the first day we used we, we, we spent it buying some things buying some things of this apartment here and there cooking things and th like that one so the second day that's when we decided to go and pick up precaution for because there is two ways that you can find job over here in america first is you go to the place that they are hiring after going to the place that they are hiring and take an application form like over me here i have an application form i applied this job i i, I filled the application form but didn't submit the application form reason being i got another job so i don't have to take this application form back so there is two ways you can get a job over here in, in america as a new immigrant either you go to the place that they are hiring. like this one it's parts pizza 
like this one this is the company that or a restaurant that cooks pizza this is a parts pizza as you can see i have my information over there and i have the expected starting rate they, they have told me although they were paying like 12 dollar although they when they asked me about the expected start wage i i had indicated i want 14 plus dollar because the the minimum wage over here in a okay there is something that we call minimum wage minimum wage is the money that each and every state every each and every employer is supposed to pay you the, the, you are in the, where you are living in that state or working in that state you are not supposed to be paid minimum money that the one the row the row allows like over here in pennsylvania over here in pa pennsylvania you are not supposed to be paid less than eight dollar an hour less than eight dollar an hour as you know or as you don't know let me make you know here in america we don't work we don't work to be paid monthly although may might be there are some jobs that they pay monthly here in america we are paid an hourly hourly so you are paid the hours that you should work and each and and there is something that we call a shift a shift is an eight hour it's an eight hour working and if you work more than eight hours you are working overtime and overtime usually pays you more than overtime usually pays you more than the shift we have the first shift like the first shift you should start like not the exact hour it depends with the company the, the first shift you should like start like from 7 a.m 7 o'clock in the morning until 2 p.m in the evening or in the afternoon the second shift start from 2 p.m or 3 p.m in the afternoon until 10 p.m or 11 p.m in the in the in the in the night and then the third shift usually start from start from 11 p.m or 10 p.m in the night until six o'clock in the morning and the cycle still continues that way we work with the shift we got have three shifts the first shift the second shift the third shift and you are not here to work two shifts if at all maybe you you can want to work this shift in this company do the next shift in that company you are not hidden the the thing is you will be paid by the hours there are some people who work 16 hours there are some people who work 20 hours if at all there is i don't know if at all there is a person who manages to work 20 hours might be there is there there is a pa person who works 10 hours something like that myself right now i'm working just eight hours that shift uh maybe soon i might think of finding another shift that's all upon me because you will work more as per your needs if at all you do you have a lot of needs you can work two shifts to cater for your bills and expend all your expenditure if at all maybe one shift it's enough for you you can work enough sh you can just work that one shift although it's recommended because of the high cost of living over here in the state you you are supposed to have like two shifts one to save your bill to save to to, to pay for your bills the second shift is to help you save i'm gonna come with another video and and discuss more about saving over here in america so if at all you want me to discuss about saving over here in america please keep please tell me or notify me in the comment section that uh, you are ready for the video i'm gonna bring the video about the saving so i was telling you how to find a job so i told you one way is to go to the place they are hiring you can google go to google look jobs hiring near me jobs hiring near me once uh, the google the google of the whatever the the chrome or whatever then i mean go to online search go search job hiring near me if at all you don't want jobs hiring near me if at all like myself i'm in lancaster go to google google jobs hiring in lancaster it's gonna give you a list of all hiring jobs here in lancaster once you see the list of all those jobs or hiring jobs in lancaster you may decide to go to the company and take an application form if at all that company has an application form but if at all that company doesn't have an application form it will guide you to apply online so you have to apply online so myself my host saw this while he was coming to me because he lives so far from me so he saw this company the parts pizza it was hiring here in the us all the places that are hiring they usually indicate with a with a great sign or great notice or great board something i will call it a board like myself i'm near buzzer the backing and I, I can see the post they have written they are hiring i have another one that i have showed you in the in the beginning of my video you can see that video the one that they are saying they are hiring is starting from 17 dollar over here although the minimum wage over here in america or oh, in, in pennsylvania because minimum wage differs from one state to another there are some states that minimum wage is eight dollar seven dollar ten dollar but a lot of jobs don't pay the minimum wage because here in america a lot of places are hiring and even some places can't get people to work for them so tell me if at all you go to 
you you the company you gonna pay the minimum wage who will work for them nobody so because like myself i can't just work over here if at all they are paying 13 dollar and there is a person another uh, another priest that can get 15 dollar i just go automatically for that price of 15 dollar so we go with pay the one the place that pay a lot of money so even it's like i have gotten confused what i was saying so i have said you can go and pick take an application form myself i went to to this place took an application form the parts pizza but later on i got another job that's why i decided to leave alone about it there is this one this another one over here you can see it it's called pro it's application for employment it's called independent living service this uh this an adult home, an adult home, something like that, a nursing home. Because coming here in America, there are those jobs that you can get quickly and easier, like nursing home, the CNA, the is it CNA or they are called who? The CNA, something like that, uh, care, caregivers. I mean, caregivers. You can get a caregiving job very easily, very easy here in America. Those of adult home, group home, Walmart, warehouses, jobs. There are those jobs that we call skilled and unskilled. Non skilled are like this CNA. Although you go, like CNA, you have to go for classes like two weeks, three weeks, one month, depending on the state. But getting those jobs is very easy because even some places train you on the spot or train you while you are working. Some places training you, training you, train you while you are working. So there are those jobs that are easy to get here in America, like restaurant, like caregiving, those nursing jobs, caregiving, housekeeping. Those jobs are very much much over here in america like in this state housekeeping nursing nursing caregiving all those jobs they usually start from 12 dollar 13 dollar 14 dollar and they are a lot and a lot and a lot and they hire every now and then and then there are those uh, warehouses walmart amazon and a lot of we uh, are a lot of warehouses it's easier for you to get a job so i have said like this one is Providence, this and uh, care nursing home. This is a restaurant application form that I have here. Let me check whether I have an application form, form for any other place. I think ah, there is another one. These are two different application form. This is Providence, this is another one. Do you see? This is a nursing home. I was looking for caregiving job or housekeeping in those places when I relocate over here. But I just leave around about this place because I got another job. So another way you can get a job over here in America it's applying online so myself like the one i'm doing i'm doing a, a warehouse job i applied online it was paying well i um, i can't tell you how much it pays but it was paying well so i applied it online and i was called for an interview i went for an in-person interview and i got passed and i got the job the following day like if not the following day it was on friday when i did the interview i started the job on monday even if it was on monday i could start on tuesday because they they asked me here in america they usually ask you when, when do you do you want to start a job? Do you want a full time job or a part time job? There is that. There is that. Okay, I want to mean that to make myself clear or to make this video short, you can apply job here in America either by online. You do online. You you apply online or you go in person to the place they are hiring and get an application form. But you need a social security card. So how fast can you get a job over here in America once you are new immigrant? After getting a social security card, which take one week to be processed, you can get the job in the second week. Myself, I got the job in, over here in America from my second week or from my, yeah, from the end of my second week. And I started my job the third week. So, one, or some places you can even get the job the the first day the second the second day the third day but i told you that one is different case because that one you don't have a social security card so i'm not here i don't know about that one but if maybe like if you go to seattle a place where there are a lot of kenyans if you are kenyan you might get a job even the second day employed by another kenyan but like this city i am i, I had to be employed by foreigners and there is no way they can employ me because they don't know me without the legal document. So I had to wait for my social security card. So I waited for my social security card one week. After getting my social security card after one week, that's when I got this job the, on Friday the, of the second week. And on Monday of the third week, I started the job. So you can do online. Go When you relocate over here in America, start to do. Even, even if you right now you, you, you may want to know. Uh, the jobs that are hiring in the state that you think you are relocating just go to google search but if at all you know you are coming here in lacasta just search hiring jobs in lacasta you're gonna see them and you're gonna see the money 
that they are paying per hour. Maybe from $12, $13, $14, and on and on. There is a minimum wage of each and every state. Many states are from $7, $8, but a lot of jobs usually pay from more than that, $13, 14 because competition is over here in America for job hiring it's high and high even like right now even the government is competing with higher with with the other hiring hiring company like the government if you want to join the military it's giving 50,000 50,000 bonus for any enlistment any person who is who is wishing to enlist although it also matters with I gonna one day I'm gonna come and discuss that too it's a step by step but all the thing that i want to tell you is that if at all you want to locate over here in america to search for green pas pasture to find for job jobs are plenty here jobs are plenty here they pay well somehow if at all you are hard working person you're gonna pay your bills and you're gonna save something so go ahead with the relocating over here in america about the cost of reading i'm gonna come with another video so that at least now we can know you have gotten a job like this one maybe it's paying $14. How much can you save from that? How much is the bill? How much is the house of, house apartment? Things like that one. But myself, I can't regret coming here in America, comparing the jobs and the life that I was living in Kenya. And right now, it's my second month over here in America. I can't regret because I can see there is a hope for my tomorrow. Thank you so much with that video. Might, might be I have answered a question that you should ask yourself might be i have not answered the question that you ask for yourself if at all you may want more clarification i'm here to explain more if at all maybe i have not given you the information required please there is other youtubers there are other places you can get the information from google and everywhere so i'm not mean with the information i have given only what i know and what i have to the best of my knowledge but you are open to such information from other sources too please subscribe if, if you haven't subscribed Please share this content. If at all you know there is a place or a person can want to see it or to view it. And may God bless you. May God be with you. Let us keep in touch. And bye bye.